Hello, 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 you amazing hacker. Hope you're doing well today. So you asked me what do you think about word lists and how should I create one and we're going to do right that in this video. So let's get right into it, shall we? Now, the first thing I want to talk about is password word lists, which will be this video, but I'm also be going to making a, a directory word lists uh, video that's going to be coming out in the next coming days. So keep an eye out for that. Now for password word lists, you can take two routes. You can either take a pre-existing list and just download that and use one that, that everybody can use from the internet. And I'm going to be showing you a few of those, but I'm also going to be showing you how you can generate your own password word lists. Now we're going to start off with some tools that you have included in Kali Linux, but of course you don't need Kali for executing them. You can just download them from their home pages respectively. But I'm going to be talking about them in a Kali sense because I look mostly know them from my OSCP training. So that's why, of course. Now, uh, first thing I want to show you guys is Cool. Now, Cool is a really cool package. It will start crawling the website that you give it and then it'll start looking for certain keywords that come on these websites. And it'll do that recursively up to a depth that you specify. So what do I mean by that? When we go look at the example, as you can see, they say cool dash D for um, the def, which it should scan to minus F for the minus M for the length of the words and minus W for the output of the word file to where to save it to. And then they just give it a domain. So if this would be google.com, cool would go to google.com. It would spider it for a def of two, for a maximum def of two, that would be, and it would uh, grab all of the words that have a maximum length of five. Now that would leave you with a certain amount of le of words. So, sorry, minimum uh, length. This isn't maximum length, this is minimum length. So it would grab all the words with a minimum length of five. So in this example, you can see that y there have been 13 items generated from this word list. So you're going to have 13 words that exist on the website that have been called by cool and it's going to write them to the docswords.txt. Now, if we want to make this into a useful password list, we cannot just use the words that are available to us on the website. We have to mutate them in some way because if you think about it, you're not just going to be using a lowercase password. You're going to have some uppercase letters, maybe some numbers in there. And that's where John the Ripper comes in handy. I don't know if you guys knew this, but you can use John the Ripper to mutate passwords. Now I'm going to link the article in the description below because it's a little bit too in depth into what I want to go into due to the huge module size of, of the mutating password uh, module. Generally, guys, that, that thing is huge. You can do so much with it. So I'm just going to link the article but this should help you mutate that list that you just captured with cool. Now moving on, you can also, of course, just brute force a password list and then use crunch for that. So crunch will just generate a word list based on the parameters that you give it. If we look at the example here, it's going to generate a list using a minimum and a maximum of six characters. So just a length of six characters in this case. And it's going to use uh, the letters or their numbers 0 through 9 and the letters A through F. And it's going to output that through 6 characters.txt. But as you guys can see, these word lists can get huge very fast because only 6 characters and with only these limited character sets, we already, already get a word list that contains 112 megabytes worth of words. So if you guys know text files, that's a big file. Now on to a few of the pre-existing word lists. I would recommend going for rockyou.txt first. Rockyou is a collection, I think, of the most top X amount of used uh, passwords. I think it's, it's somewhere in the range of a million. Not really sure, but it's a really good word list. And you guys should probably check if one of the passwords that you're using isn't on these word lists, because one of mine was. so. I got pwned. <laughs> Be careful that you use a complex password. Thank God it wasn't that really serious of a password. Um, it was just some test account I had somewhere on a server, but still really interesting to see if your password is on here. 
Now the next list I usually use is um, CrackStation's password cracking directory. This is a huge giant list of all of different passwords that you can think of. Uh, and but the the disadvantage of this one is that it has that it's so big, so it will take some time to go over the complete word list. So this would be 15 gigabytes of words. That that's quite a lot. <laughs> And then the last thing I want to show you guys is the Seclist. This is uh, a repository where you guys can find a lot of different um, lists with passwords from all different sources, PHP, magic hashes, dark web top 10, top 100, top 1000, blah, blah, blah. Great collection of word lists. And some of these are recently updated. Like if we go into the common credentials, for example, you can see that top 20 common secure shell passwords that txt is not even that old it's just five days old so far so that was it for password word lists i'll make the the word lists for directory brute forcing in a separate video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did you guys know what to do i'll see you in the next one bye